hello everyone in this video we will see how to find a number of positive and negative numbers in an array so generally we will call in 0 0 to 7 for the positive numbers and 8 0 to f for the negative numbers so how we are saying it is a positive and negative suppose for example uh, if you have a msb is equal to 0 then it is called positive number if msb is equal to 1 it is a negative number so from 0 0 to 7 of range in the all are the msbs are zeros so it is called positive numbers and from a0 to ff all the numbers are uh, all the msbs are one so it is an negative numbers suppose for example in a given array they have given a uh, 0 1 and 8a one five sorry one f nine c and then we have ff so now we have an, uh, the we have five inputs okay so at first uh, always we should uh, put the how many number for how many numbers we are going to find a positive and negative number so the first value will be the counter value so 0 5 0 5 is the counter 0 5 is the counter so i will 0 5 is the counter so to show it separate i have given separate colors so 0 5 is the counter and then followed by we have given five values so from this five numbers how we can find the whether it's a positive or negative so we know that msb is equal to 1 means negative msb is equal to 0 means positive so but by using which instruction we can able to find the uh, msb is equal to 1 or 0 so by doing shifting operation by using shift left by using shift left we can find that uh, whether the msb is equal to 1 or 0 so what happens shift left means what what will happen in shift left always it will shift the bits by one position so for example we have data called 1001 space 0001 so this is the input data we having so now we will shift left this data is in the al register ax register ax register so now we will give instruction called shift left al comma zero one times i want to shift up this al uh, ax register by one times okay that's the meaning of this shift left so now what happens this data will be get shifted by one portion so at first we have a carry so this msb goes to carry flag this msb goes to carry flag by shift left and then the new msb will be zero zero one and then this zero will transfer to the next bit next bit position so zero will be there and then we have a zero zero one and then we have one vacant space we have one vacant space the vacant space is filled with zeros the vacant spaces are filled with zeros okay the vacant spaces are filled with zeros so here the vacant space is only one vacant space because we are shifting left shift lifting this ax bit by one position so the msb goes to carry flag msb goes to carry flag and then followed by we have a three data zero zero one so zero zero one and then this zero comes to the upper nibble and then we have zero zero one so we have zero zero one and then we have a vacant bit In the vacant bits are filled by zeros and then uh, if, if we can check for a carry if carry is equal to 1 then it is called negative number so we can increment the negative counter and then if carry is equal to 0 it is a positive number so we can increment the positive counter so this is how we can do the operation of number of positive and negative numbers in an array so now let us start writing a code so now here we require two counters right uh, one is for positive number and one is for negative numbers so now let us initialize origin 100h and then uh, uh, move bl comma uh, let me insert one more columns for the commands commands so move bl comma 00h okay so bl is equal to positive counter bl is positive counter and then move bh comma 00h so bh is equal to negative counter so whenever i found carry then i will increment the 
uh, BH. Whenever I found no carry, then I'll, I will increment the BL. Because if carry is equal to 0, it is called positive. And if carry is equal to 1, that is called negative. So that's the purpose of BL and BH. And then uh, we will initialize that from, from, from which place we need to take a data. So move source index comma 1100H. So to know, to know more about source index and then why do you require source index, you please check the description. I have given the links for ascending and descending orders. So here the SI is initialized as a 1100. So from 1100, we will take a, we will fetch a data. Okay. So before fetching a data, we should, we should initialize the counter. We should initialize the corresponding counter values, right? So now uh, move CL comma 0, 01. So why I am writing this instruction C01? Because we are shift lifting this bit by one portion, right? So this one is declared over here. Move CL comma 01. CL is called 01. How many how many bits we are going to shift? Shift by one one portion. So that, that is why I have declared CL, CL comma 01. And then move CH comma SI. So now f we will fetch a first data from the 1100 memory location. In 1100 memory location, we have data called phi. So that has been stored in the CH. Generally, we will use CH for the counter purpose, counting purpose. So CH becomes 0, 05. CH becomes 0, 05. And then increment SI. Because uh, we need to fetch a second data, first data, right? Increment SI. And then now we can move this data to the AL register. Move AL comma. SI move AL comma SI so now AL value becomes AL value becomes so what is the AL value so here the first data is 0 1 0 1 AL is equal to 0 1 and then shift left the AL bit shift left the AL bit by one position that is called CL thus in CL we have stored 0 1 in CL we have stored 0 1 so now it will shift left this AL by one portion. So now what happens? This in zero we have MSB zero. So the MSB zero will go to the carry. So what happens? Zero 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 one means what? Zero 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 one. So now this MSB will go to the carry flag. So once carry flag is equal to zero, then it is called negative. Okay. So but it's no carry, right? So jump carry then I can give loop name as a negative. If carry occurs, it will jump. If not, I will increment the corresponding positive counter. So for positive counter, I have given BL. So I will increment the BL. It's a positive number, right? Zero one is a positive number. So I'll increment the BL register and then jump to next. Because why I'm jumping here means if carry comes, if carry comes, then I will give this loop over here negative over here and then here I will increment the corresponding BH so now if positive number comes then we should skip this BH right so that's why I have given jump next so now here we have a next loop so now uh, we should uh, fetch a second data so add SI comma 01H so once I, once I give add SI comma 01H then SI becomes 1102. SI becomes 1102H. And then we can decrement the counter. So counter is 5. So decrement CH. So CH becomes 04. CH becomes 04. And then if if CH is equal to 0 means it will finish the operation. Then we'll come to know that B is equal to 1 or 0. So here B is equal to 0, 01 and B which is equal to 0, 0. So we will check for the counter is 0 or not. It is not 0, right? It is 0, 4. Then jump, no 0. And then fetch a second data. Fetch a second data. So now once again, it will jump to this loop over here. And then go to SI. SI is 1102. And then the AL value becomes in 1102 second data is 80A. So we will store a new value 80A. 80A. So we will shift left this ATA by one time. So we will get a carry. Uh, ATA means what? In, the, in MSB we have a 1. 
so carry so increment the square of carry comes means what you jump to this loop over here and increment bh by one time so it becomes zero one it becomes zero one and then what happens it will add si comma zero one it becomes one one zero three and then it will decrement the ch so it becomes zero three so once again it is not zero right it will jump back once again and it will fetch a third data in third data we have and one f so one f will be stored over here so from one f the msb is equal to zero shift left by say one f by one time so msb is equal to zero so increment the bl by one time so it becomes zero two it becomes zero two and then jump next because the, we have already counted post numbers so it is not negative so jump to this next and then sa becomes one one zero four and then ch becomes zero two so like this it will be keep on going so once at one point it becomes zero zero so once zero zero comes what happens this loop gets failed then uh, that means that we have in the given array we have found we have uh, checked for all the data whether it's positive or negative so then we can store the output in some memory location right so now move one two zero zero h comma b l move one two zero one h comma b h and then we have a halt so the positive numbers will be stored in the one two zero zero memory location how many numbers are positive that will be stored in the one two uh, zero zero memory location and then the negative numbers number of negative numbers are stored in the one two zero one so now let us execute this program let's see how it comes So I have compiled the program. Let us simulate this program. So um, go to view and go to me memory and go to one one zero zero, and then give you a input data uh, zero one. So at first we should give the counter value so zero five, and then zero one and eight a, zero two, uh, nine b, and then we have a zero six. So we have given five data. So among the five data, there are three positive numbers and two negative numbers. Let us see how it comes. So, so B L becomes zero zero, B is zero zero, S A becomes one one zero zero, C H becomes zero one. That is your shift left this counter by one times, right? So C H becomes zero one, and then we have loaded five number of values. For five number of values, we are going to find a number of positive and negatives. And then we will fetch a first data to the AL register zero one, and then it will check for shift left, and then second data will be fetched. It will be keep on going. So here you can find in BL we have three positive numbers. In BH we can see it two post two negative numbers. So that can be stored in your memory one two zero zero memory location. So among the given five numbers, uh, three are positive and two are negative. So this is how we we can use and shift operation for the uh, for the finding of your number of positive and negative numbers in an array. Thank you for watching.